So the way I think about things is that the rule should always tell a kid what to do. The value should always answer why they're doing it. All right, so in my class, I create the values. So for example, a value would be res be respectful, be responsible, do unto others. Those would be values. They're more important than rules, okay? The value, again, answers why. So anytime a kid says, Mr. Mendler, what? Why do I kid keep my hands and feet to myself? That would be the rule, slash expectation. Keep your hands and your feet to ourselves. Why do I got to do that, Mr. Mendler? Because we need to learn how to respect each other's personal space. Notice how I answer the question about why a kid has to follow a rule by talking about a value. And this is how I know if I have a bad rule. The way to know if you have a bad rule is if you're answering because I said so. Because that's the way it's always been. Because it's in our policy. Because that's what we do here. Anytime I find myself answering like that, I know I have to revisit the rule. Okay? So another example would be a value would be responsibility. Based on the value of responsibility, we'll bring a notebook and a pen to class every day. Where's your notebook? But I was just, where's your notebook? But we were just, where is your notebook? Because either you have it or you don't. Notice how the rule slash expectation is measurable. It can be measured. It's specific. The value is much more broad. So again, the value answers why and the rule answers what. And as long as you can connect those for kids, almost always they'll follow your rules. But they have to be rules that make sense.